Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a products I've used up number two. Um, my last one was a couple months ago. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. But I have this Forever 21 bag full of a bunch of trash. Filled up with a bunch of like skincare, hair care, some makeup products that I've used up. I'm just going to show you guys, give you guys my opinions. Because, you know, they could have been in a favorites video one month. And then after using it, I felt that like I didn't like it anymore. I found something that didn't work for me. But, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So first I have this Colgate Total Advanced Pro Shield mouthwash and peppermint it's this big gigantic bottle i use it up it actually lasted me about two months which is pretty good for this big bottle and i really liked it um it didn't have that burning um sensation that you know listerine has i think it didn't burn me i could keep it in my mouth for 30 seconds and my teeth were like so white and plus i think because of the toothpaste i used to but um this helped to especially freshen my breath and everything Next, I have this Soft Soap Juicy Pomegranate and Mango Infusions Body Wash. I love this. It has little beads in it, too, I think. Um, oh, yeah, it says Moisturizing Body Wash with Moisture um, Beads, and it felt so good. Like, it doesn't exfoliate my skin, but it just felt really good, and then I paired it with the Mango Lotion. It was the Bath & Body Works um, Mango Body Butter or whatever. I mentioned it in my... Um, April favorites, which I'll also have linked down below. But yeah, these paired together. I love the smell of mango. I like smelling like mangoes. I love smelling like fruits around this time of year. It's getting hot. It's like freaking 82 degrees outside. It's so hot. But I love smelling like that. So love this. Definitely will repurchase this. Oh, and I will repurchase the mouthwash. Next, I have this Cantu Shave Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. It's been in a lot of my tutorials. Um, I actually don't like this anymore. I guess my hair got used to it or whatever, but it was just starting to dry my hair out and wasn't really moisturizing it as well. So ever since I stopped using this, my hair feels healthier. It's getting back strong and soft. So this didn't really work for my hair too much after a while. So I will not be repurching it. Repurching. I will not be repurchasing this. Next, I have this Tresemme Flawless Curls Conditioner. It's been in an empties video. It's been in my favorites. Ride or Die Conditioner. I love this. I always end up going back to this after a couple months because I switch up my products because my hair gets used to it. Always love this. Every single time I use it, it defines my curls really good for co-washing my hair. Leaves it smelling good and moisturized. And I love this. I will definitely repurchase this. I love this product. It smells amazing. It really moisturizes my hair. It's an amazing, amazing leave-in. I love it. Defines my curls. Um, very lightweight too. Just don't use too much because it can weigh your hair down. But I really do love this, and I would repurchase it. Next, I have this Dark and Lovely AU Natural Anti Shrinkage. This is their new line for natural hair care. I know they're mainly high like relaxers and stuff, but this is for the natural hair. Hated this, left this disgusting oily residue. And oh, I don't know if I told you, but it's a sheen sealing nectar. Like, it's a recipe for all day shiny, elongated curls and coils. Um, my cousin had used this and she left it here, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll try it. Hated it, and it took my hair forever to dry, and oh, I hated it, and I hated the smell. Okay. Next, I had the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing Deep Cleaning Face Wash. When I got it at the time, it was new, it had just hit the shelves, and I absolutely loved it. It was in a favorites video as well. Um, I showed it in my Get Unready With Me, like my nighttime routine a couple months ago, which will be linked down below. And I use this, I really love it, but um, I just had to get a new face wash. My skin was getting used to it. It's still Clean and Clear because I love Clean and Clear. Um, it's the sensitive skin one works just as good love clean and clear products really help my skin and yeah i would definitely repurchase this and also side note i use it both in the morning and night i know it says night relaxing but i like to wash my face in the morning as well before i put on makeup and it works just fine in the morning um i have another shea moisture product i actually have a lot in here okay maybe not a lot like one more <laughs> but this is the um super fruit complex 10 in 1 renewal system with marula oil and biotin hair mask love this hair mask i tried um their yellow hair mask and i did not like it it just didn't work for my hair but this one is amazing i picked it up when they had their bogo and oh my gosh it leaves my hair defined curled and soft and i love it i use this hair mask 
every week um, when I do my hair and I love it. I will repurchase it. I have another one in my bathroom that I've been using and I absolutely love it. Definitely will repurchase it. Okay, I have another Shea Moisture um, product. It's the Yucca and Bo Baobab, I don't know. Um, thickening Growth Milk with Biotin and Bamboo Extract. Love this. Um, biotin is really good for getting your hair strong and helping it grow, which um, the deep conditioner I showed you before had. And so does this. So these together in combo just really help my hair strong. Uh, help my hair strong help my hair grow and get stronger and I love this this left my hair soft but it didn't work that well in my wash and go when I try to use it for wash and go it didn't work that well so definitely just in a braid out or a twist out it worked good and I absolutely love this and I will repurchase this next I have a lotion it's the Vaseline cocoa radiant intensive care with pure cocoa butter um lotion love this lotion favorite lotion of all time I always go back to this in the summer um it's super moisturizing and gives a nice glow to your skin a healthy sun kiss glow and I love it I always buy the big bottles because I use it so much in the summer so definitely would repurchase this next I have this elf daily brush cleaner absolutely loved it it's perfect for spot cleaning I like to clean my face brushes after I use them but I don't want to wash them because I don't want to ruin the bristles so this is really good to spot clean them I'll spray my face brushes wipe it on a paper towel till it's clean and I'm good to go just because your face brushes can hold a lot of bacteria and like dirt and stuff so I don't want that I don't want to put that back on my face and break out and everything so this is really good and I use it on my eye brushes as well if um I use like a color that day and like a blue and I don't want to muddy it I would repurchase it and it's only three dollars and I got mine at Target next I have this Suave almond and shea butter conditioner I liked it the first time I used it I used it to detangle and I, it was even in a to I always see myself with the face. It was even in the tutorial, like how I did take on my natural hair and stuff, which will be linked down below as well. But um, yeah, after a while, I started to not like it. This is my second or third bottle using it. And after a while, I was like, oh, I don't like this. So I would just use it to co-wash because it left my hair feeling like this weird residue feeling. It just didn't detangle as well. So I didn't like it anymore. So I would definitely not repurchase it. I think they changed their formula in it. That's why. Next, I have a chapstick. against the Blistex Nurture and Nourish. Absolutely love this. Perfect for the winter. My lips get so dry in the winter. Like, my whole body is dry in the freaking winter, actually. But this really helps soothe them, especially if I was eating, like, a cr Especially if I was leaving like a crack in the middle of my lip, this would help heal it on up and it's a great topper. Like I'm not a big, well I used to not be a big lip gloss person but I have gotten into it lately so much. Um, before if I wanted just a little sheen or something nice I would put this on top of my lipstick but now I'm a lip gloss gal so I use lip gloss but this is definitely really nourishing. I definitely recommend this if you have dry lips. Next I have a foundation and it is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Caramel Beige and... Me and this foundation, we go way back. <laughs> um, this foundation was in a product I regret buying. Well, let me tell you the first problem I had. The first problem I had was I was wearing it, you know, and then after a while it started to turn right around here, um, my right around my nose, black. And I told you guys before in a couple of videos that once a product doesn't work for my skin, or yeah, when a product doesn't work for my skin, around my nose gets black. So I have to stop using it, of course this did this so i guess it was the formula or whatever and then i realized it was a little too light in my well my mom said it was a little too light so then i was using it as a concealer and but i still mentioned it as a products i regret buying because like if i wanted a concealer i'd buy a five dollar concealer i don't need to spend almost ten dollars on a foundation on a concealer i would get like for a four dollar concealer you know what i mean okay but then after a while, I was like, you know, I'm done with it. I'm going to stop using it. And it's a shame. I don't know why in the world I thought that this was my color. Like, it's obviously too light. But next, I have this NYC Nail Polish in Big Apple Red. And I love this nail polish. Perfect classic red, you know. I loved it. I wore it. I, wore it. <laughs> I wore it all the time um, last October and stuff. Yeah, it's been a while. I used it all up. I've never used a nail polish completely up. Like, I've always let it get old and stuff and then have to throw it away. But I literally used this whole thing up, which says a lot. I love NYC nail polish. You guys know my all-time favorite color um, is Boat Basin by NYC. Love it. Um, definitely going to be picking up a new one. Love this nail polish. Definitely recommend it beautiful beautiful red next I have this Carmex um chapstick which is really old like I think I finished this all up in like November and it smells so good I love Carmex lipsticks I was a lot more shine to it than the Blistex the Blistex has more of a sheen this one has more of a shine and I love them equally though very moisturizing perfect I love it would repurchase it 
Uh, last product, it is the Revlon Beyond Natural Lashes and 91168 Natural Defining. I really love these lashes, they're perfect. They look natural on you, and no one could tell that I was wearing these. And I was like, oh my gosh. I remember one time we had testing, so I like said it was on um, makes up. I sat with my friends that I don't see often in a school day, and I'm like, oh my god, that lashes look so long. They were like asking me what mascara I use, but and I told them I was wearing fake eyelashes, and they couldn't tell because they couldn't see the band. They even told me like to literally close my eyes, and I don't know why I just reenacted that all, <laughs> but they told me to close my eyes, and they couldn't see the band. And I told them it was fake. And I was wearing these. These are perfect just for every day and also for a subtle glam. You know, when you want to go all out with your makeup looks, I use these in my prom tutorials, which will be linked down below too. I'm going to have a lot of videos linked down for you guys to watch. Um, but yeah, definitely. I love these. Would we purchase these? And oh, the most important thing I got 26 uses out of these. Yes. 26 uses out of these these are absolutely amazing all right guys so that was it for products i've used up or empties number two whatever you want to call it and my many reviews letting you know if i would purchase them or not so i um, mean yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more empties videos or anything else you want to see comment down below and i will be sure to do it and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys all in my next video Bye. A couple videos back, I said I would include like the makeup I'm wearing just in case anyone was curious. So, um, I actually have a whole tutorial on this look. It's featured in the Anastasia palette. I will have that link down below for you guys to watch it. Super simple, it's only three shadows. The only thing different from the tutorial is my lip color today. And on my lips, I have the Maybelline Untainted Spice, which is this pretty rosy brown color, which depending on the pigment of your lips or, and your skin tone, it's going to show up different. It was a little too brown for me, but you could still see the purple undertones, but I didn't like it. So in the center of my lips, I added Milani Plum Rose um, lipstick. It smells so good, like a freaking watermelon Jolly Rancher. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful. <gasps> And that's it for my makeup. Be sure to check out all the links to my videos I have down below. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, that's good. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, hey guys. Mm. Hey guys, welcome. All right, guys. So that was for. Uh.